And in other news tonight, the museum of the Mary Brogan Museum is closing its doors and that is affecting the community for sure. That decision came down by the board of directors last night. WTX LABC 27's Ty Wilson live for us in the newsroom with more on the impact of this decision. Ty. Yeah, this all came down to funding. Greg, it appears that administrators who run the not-for-profit Brogan Museum have about $70,000 in the bank. However, they owe banks and creditors more than $100,000. The big loser? Children eager to learn and have fun doing it. This is the first look inside the Mary Brogan Museum since its board of directors shut it down quiet enough to hear a pin drop. Normally, kids pack the building, eager to learn about the wonders of the arts and sciences. Many students who come to the museum say it's like a second home. In my childhood and my first experiences with the Mary Brogan, and I don't want to ever stop having those same experiences, learning and having fun at the same time. People who know the museum best say financial problems plague the downtown Tallahassee Museum from the start. They say the building was supposed to have four floors, but it was built with just three. And now, struggles to generate money left the board members no other choice. Rentals of exhibits that were um, hoping, um, the organization hoping that it would um, bring us um, needed funds to not only pay for that exhibition, but also gain more money to help us with our budget, um, didn't bring to fruition what was thought um, could help us out. So now the downtown area is left with just a few other places where children can learn, dream big, and explore nature's beauty. At the Tallahassee Museum, officials say memberships, donors, and visitors keep them open. So we definitely have to have a product they enjoy and want to learn from, but we also have to work the pricing so it covers the costs. Despite the doors seemingly being closed permanently, two upcoming events involving Tibetan monks and a spring break camp for kids will go on as planned at the Brogan Museum. Live in the newsroom, I'm Ty Wilson, ABC 27, dedicated to you.